Hey, Barker Trash here with a non-care package review. Uh, right here I've got the uh, Dark of the Moon Air Raid, which I really never heard of. I just saw the saw it in the Walmart and decided to get it. Alright, so Air Raid's here, regular packaging, but I, I just really want to draw attention to this. If you look at him, he has the most pitiful puppy dog eyes. And it's just like, please, please take me home. I'm so sad and lonely here, please. You know, he's got the little pouty bottom lip and everything, and really, it, it just, it broke my heart, you know. But I may be alone in that because I asked my little brother, what's this face make you think of? And he said, Marvin the Martian. If you want to see his, uh, his bio, just uh, pause the video and read that. Going on, uh, the Dark of the Moon lot, well, really all the, Transformer live-action movies have taken some of their biggest, what would be their biggest characters, and made the smallest toys with them. Like uh, from *Revenge of the Fallen*, they had that big uh, transport jet uh, stratosphere, I think they called them, and that thing was, in, you know, the jet it's based off of is enormous. I mean, it even comes with a little bitty Optimus Prime cab that you know. The figure's this tall, and the little Optimus Prime is like that tall, so you can just imagine how big it actually is. Okay, so got him out of package here, and I like it. It's uh, kind of a darkish green on the bottom, got the silver stripe dividing it, and then, I'm not sure how you describe this, but it's a nice, uh, like a forest green on top, with some more silver on the back. It's made, it's a... Uh, Electronics Warfare Jet, so you've got the uh, radar dome that in theory is going to click on right here, but hmm, is determined to make a fool out of me. So we're just going to take and put it on the 5mm peg right there. So there's your Electronics Warfare Jet, and if you look at how small the windows are on the front of this. This is a big plane. I'm talking this thing's probably at least the size of a C-130. Even though it does only have two jet engines compared to the four prop engines like a C-130 would have. Uh, see if I can figure out the transformation on this guy without consulting L instructions. Before I do that though, we got uh, one landing gear in the nose. And I don't see, oh, this is what's going to be the chest. So this guy does have landing gear, but it is non-rolling. He does sit very well with them, though. Uh, the wings have a hinge in the middle of them to where they come up and make one of my favorite design features besides shoulder cannons, and that is shoulder pylons and besides posing this guy it doesn't look like there's a whole lot left to do with him uh, got a little bit of uh, adjustment with the uh, the tail fins you can take the ailerons and fold them up next to the uh, the tail fin make it a little bit more compact and rather than having you know this big long arm, you can collapse it back into jet mode to where he has a little bit better symmetry, but he still has no hand on this side, it's just the tail section of the jet. And also, oh, that popped off maybe. There is no also for that. I was going to say you can come down with it, but you can't come down all the way or else the uh, ailerons will come off. Uh, okay, so that should be pretty much him. Uh, I thought you were going to be able to take and clip the, uh, the shield gun thing onto this arm, but there's nowhere to do it. I was going to do that to kind of obscure the fact that he has no right arm, but uh, not doable. 
He has light piping, but the light piping panel is very small and doesn't seem to be picking up much light. And of course we have the Mechtech weapon, which comes out and flips out his, uh, his gun right here. And no way to keep it deployed that I can tell. They really should have put pegs or something on these things to keep them deployed. Little clear rubber band that this thing came packed with. Just gonna take and put it around right here. Keep it flipped out so that this guy has his gun. Got a pretty loose wrist. He can't really hold his gun very well. That's pretty much him. Got this guy. The, the, the prices at Walmart dropped down to like $7.50 for the uh, Dark of the Moon figures. So that's not too, too bad. I mean, I don't feel too bad having bought it for that price. Uh, much more than that, I, I don't know if I would be as okay with this. But he is nice, and it's nice to see some more non-Decepticon jets. But uh, overall, mildly recommended. Like I said, I really like the face really doesn't have as much of the puppy dog look as the uh, box art. But still, I do like this guy. He... Uh, Good color combination. I like some green figures. Don't have too many of them, I don't think. But uh, no, it, it's a good-looking little figure. Um, if you're not burnt out on the movie look, which I pretty much am, but uh, I don't know. I still like this guy. He is kind of strange in that his kneecap covers come up all the way to his waist. So uh, very long lower legs. Uh, get him in his uh, pop on a squat pose. The gun, the more I look at it, the more I don't know that I actually like it in the gun mode. Uh, may just leave it round as a shield or just leave it as a backpack just to kind of counterbalance because he does feel slightly front heavy and there's no reason for that. I've got a cat on my head. Do they make cat riddling? I like it. Y'all have a good day. Take care. And I didn't notice this but underneath the uh, the wings there are actually some ports that you can clip a weapon into. So you can have shoulder weapons, uh, shoulder cannons on the shoulder pylons. Double score. Okay, my opinion is this guy just went up a little bit. So uh, definitely a solid 8 out of 10. Y'all have a good day. Fold this away. And let's see if I can figure out this transformation. Okay, this right here. They got some panels right here on the side that are going to come out. And this is going to come loose. Okay. This looks like it should do more than this, but that's all it looks like it does. Uh, get that out. Got some more. Looks like some panels right here behind the wings that are going to Okay, the wings can flip up. Get that out of the way for now. This tail section looks like the arms and the legs are both... Hi, kitty. Aye, yike. Okay, I see I need to clip your claws a little bit more. Okay, yeah, these panels right here behind the wings are going to take and flip out to the side. Then this arm is going to come out and around like this. Okay, the whole tail section makes up the other arm. Good night. Look at the 
difference in the two arms. Um, well, this right here has got to just come unconnected some sort. Okay, this is going to come down. Split this to where that comes like this around and then pops off. Ah, there's back in place. This is going to make the foot. No, I'm backwards. That thing that flips out is going to make the heel spur, not the, the toes. Okay. The, uh, this section right here that I said looked like it'd have to do something more, it kind of lifts up, and that makes his... Uh, was it still Mech Tech? No, Mech Tech was the weapons. An Automorph right here. Whenever this comes up, it brings the head up, and it doesn't really look like anything would lock into place on it. I'm going to have to consult the instructions, I guess, because something ain't looking right here. Because there's nothing to keep the hips from collapsing. Oh, I see it clicks. Still, this doesn't look fantastic. In fact, just collapsing it back like it was in jet mode looks better than with the panels folded out. So I'm just going to leave it like that. <laughs> 